Nice hat. Yes, great outfit. <laughs> Hi, yes. Do I look like I just stepped into Pirates of the Caribbean? Yes, That's how totally. I feel. But I feel phenomenal in this outfit. Okay, so you just said it at uh, Oakdale Junior High School with their big Renaissance Fair. This is their fourth year doing it. History coming alive in every single classroom for the seventh grade. Now, before we do anything, I forgot about the awesome personalities of seventh graders. So just a moment ago, I, I looked at this kid here. Tell me your name. Michael. All right, I said, Michael. I was like, what's up, man? And what was your response? Just the sky. But he said it kind of cute. It was like, nothing, just the sky. Yeah. I said the same thing to you. What did you say? Uh, nothing, just my crippling depression. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that literally came out of his mouth, and it was kind of hilarious. Now, let's move on to what's happening here. Okay, if I could have Danessa come on over. Wow. <laughs> By the way, this kid's <laughs> outfit is on point, which we'll get to a little later. Later, Now, Danessa, tell me about why you all do this every single year. Um, well, Mickey Diaz, our amazing history teacher, she wanted to have something, uh, cum -la, cum -la, cum -la, oh my gosh, that puts together the entire seventh grade uh, curriculum. So we have uh, history curriculum, we have English, science, math, um, all in science, did I say science? All together, <laughs> so, and then we put it together in this Renaissance Fair, and the kids dress up. They do yeah. create siege machines, they um, do art pieces, games, um, and then we bring out the presenters to show how history truly was. Yeah, I love that. I mean, the fact that you bring out people for this is fantastic. Now, okay, I don't want to get in the way of your uh, fight here, but Stephen, you, I mean, you love doing this. You have a school in San Jose. Tell me about that. Yes, I have a sword fighting school in Santa Clara, one in Texas, and one in Las Vegas. And I get to travel around the world and teach people how to sword fight as a martial art. That's so great. So you have an opportunity to hang out with these seventh graders. How much fun has it been so far? I love working with them. The, the thing about a lot of school right now is history is boring because it's yeah. just <laughs> numbers in a book. Yeah. Who cares? They're dead. But once they get to see the swords and hold onto the swords sure. and even swing it, history comes to life. Absolutely. It makes such a difference. Now, you brought, we're talking arms and armory here. Show us a few items that you brought and maybe what's the, what's the, the highlight? What, what's the, the crowd favorite, the crowd pleaser? All right. Here, let me get that one from you. All right. This one is my longsword. So this is the one that I fight with, like Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings. But this one is called a flamberge. And all of these little wiggles in it are to make it stronger and defeat the opponent's sword. Oh. And even my little roses. And you see if I have little roses right here? Yes. My little roses are pretty, but they also are meant for catching swords. Ah, oh, very cool. Okay. So this is one of my favorites. And the other one is, is this one right here. If anybody watches uh, For Forged in Fire, this sword was made by Dave Baker on Forged in Fire for wow. me. And so this is an Italian broadsword that I love to fight with. Wow, I mean, this is incredible. If, I, if we could just grab, if we could grab one person, because we walked in and we saw a demonstration of this super heavy helmet. I know it has another word for it. Okay, come here really quick. You guys, check this out. It is wildly visual. And as we wrap it up, I'm going to have you demonstrate what I saw just a little, ago, a little <laughs> bit ago. Yes, yes. This is called mail. Oh, my gosh. Oh, You've okay. got mail. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chain. Live TV here. Oh, I have no more foot. Okay, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> this is called mail, or people call it chain mail, and mail is Latin for mesh because of all the holes in it. This is the type of armor that they wore during the Crusades. Cool. And what it's designed for is this. Okay. So I cannot cut through their armor. A, there no it is. How hard I try. Yeah. Also, I should have had that on my ankle. I don't have an ankle anymore. No, I'm just kidding. I'm totally fine. Okay, before we go, everybody stand up. We can't not show these outfits. So if we could just, everyone on the count of three, just strike a pose. Oh, yes. There it is. Hit that pose. There it is. Look at this one. Here we go. Hit that. Let me see. Hit that pose. Oh, yes. There it is. Okay, so we're going to hang out, guys, for another hour. And we are going to be doing something with Falconer. And oh, rounders. All right, okay. Falconers and rounders coming up in the next hour. All right, you ready? Protect you want to yourself. Ready okay. to go? Say so back to you. <laughs> oh, Gird oh, thy head. What? Back to you. Oh, back to you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> kids. These kids. I really, I 